Well, I want to welcome you guys back to another real estate segment with our great sponsor, Tim Mitchell. We are so happy to have you again. Yes. And it's the last month of the year. It has been amazing. We've got COVID 2020 wrapping up, but man, I'm telling you what a great fall. What a great year and, and a bad year for a lot of people. But thank you so much for getting us through this year. Thank you for supporting our family, our business and our schools and teachers. And in fact, we have our teacher of the month, Kelly Prevost of Creekview. So congratulations, Kelly, you're our teacher of the month. Now, Tim, last month you kind of filled us in on some past sales that had been going on that we talked about the month before. How was last month? Oh, it was amazing. Remember the featured homes we talked about in Park Forest and in Summerbrook? Those both did close and sold above the market value and got the highest price in Park Forest and the second highest price in Summerbrook. So congratulations to those families and those featured homes because it all helped and it was a great time to bless those families getting those houses sold along with some others we're going to recap for you now. Real quickly, we had a house that sold in 280 in the Inverness area. First time home buyer, congratulations to her. We also sold a house in Forest Parkway we talked about and the one on 69 Winter Haven Drive. And we were able to help a family get into Lake Forest, which is a hard area to get into. So if you need to get into that, make sure you give us a call. Congratulations to that family. And finally, in Gray Oaks, we had a family that wanted to get into Gray Oaks. They wanted a house with a pool. There was a bid war, but our team was able to get them the house, not go above the asking price, not go above the highest sale, but actually using what we talk about in our contracts, our team was able to negotiate a clean offer and the best offer, so they were able to win out and get that wonderful home with the pool. Congratulations to them as well. So Tim, with us being in December, last month of the year, how are you expecting the year to round out? It has been a great year and it's been a rough year, but we do have other stuff coming. We have families that are undergoing renovations. We have families building. We have families buying and selling. Um, this homeowner here is considering selling or renting, but we're going through renovations on them and they've got lots of stuff underway. You can see they've got demo here. They've got new paint, new carpet, new appliances, um, a wonderful backyard here, but lots of stuff happening. Um, so stay tuned to see what they want to do but we do have great homes and great buys coming. So let's go through those quickly. Okay, so on these great buys coming, we've got a three bedroom, two bath in the 200 range, all brick, one level. We also have a four bedroom, three bath, all brick, one level coming, and it's gonna be right around 250. It's coming soon in December, we hope. We're just waiting on the paperwork and then to get, get them active. Okay. And we also have a four bedroom, three bath that is in talks about coming in um, probably December or January. So there are things happening all the time. This other home has an RV pad, it has boat parking, it has a storage building with power. It might be priced in the 250s or 260s. Um, and we do have a fixer upper coming that's gonna be below 200,000. It's a four bedroom, three bath. It needs 20, 30, $40,000 worth of work and it would sell for probably 250, but you might be able to get it for 180 or 190. Those are the things that we hear about. They're coming, but we don't know if they're gonna be active or ready to roll yet. But we do have so many families and so many houses coming and going. So if you're looking or buying, make sure you call us, call our team at 205-305-8756. Go to timmitchellsales.com or hit us up on Facebook so we can give you the scoop. Well, it sounds like it's been a great year. December's looking great. Yes. So I really think there's only one thing to close with, right? That's right. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and Happy New Year.